Hi, Binal. Hi. May we start with uh, understanding your thoughts on uh, what made you uh, join this one year program? Like, what was it about that you heard or looked at that made you think that this is for me? I want to do it. So, uh, I'd been attending Kalyan's uh, workshops for a while and uh, also. Uh, had hosted a few of them. Um, it was so initially it was more to do with uh, nature cure and uh, health per se. And uh, slowly, you know, the program, I could see the courses were evolving from one workshop to another. So even though I'd attended quite a few workshops, there was no similarity between one that I was attending and the previous one. So uh, I could uh, also. I mean, in a facilitator like Kalyan, see the changes that he was also rethinking in his own life. The, you know, the he was questioning himself. So, I mean, rarely have I come across someone who is a facilitator where the, um, you know, the content is uh, evolving and where even the facilitator is kind of questioning himself. So I could see that in close quarters and. Uh, that kind of, uh, you know, picked my um, curiosity that, you know, can I also explore life uh, in different facets with different perspectives? So um, I wanted to kind of um, go deeper into it. Uh, and uh, yeah, that was my reason for enrolling. Sure. So now that it has been one year uh, into inquiring uh, about yourself about I wonder if it is about yourself or about anything but uh, like uh, what do you think uh, this course was about um, was it about so facilitation was it about uh, inquiring finding out yeah go ahead please yeah um yeah so this course uh, makes one it's like a mirror you know um, the calls that we had uh, especially one to one calls with kalyan um, so it was not about you questioning and he giving an answer or with the rest of the participants when we would have group calls weekly uh, it was um, looking at life moment to moment uh, and it unraveled uh, this aspect of sensation that uh, how is one uh, looking at its source as well, where it's coming from. Um, so, from, I mean, that has been a different world altogether, the world of physiological world, which is the internal chemical sensations uh, that one senses. And many a times, you know, the ideas get masked in the physical root and uh, deciphering that. So, um, you know, generally the conflicts, uh, the approach is to kind of look for answers outside, but here it was more about uh, after whatever the conflicts, I mean, how am how is one even perceiving it and who, what's causing the conflicts and being with the conflict, uh, the disturbances, the problems that one is facing and is it really a problem? So those were some of the finer aspects and this program is about you know uh, is that mirror that uh, to know more about oneself also you know uh, there are certain um, fixations uh, one may have about you know even the medical world if one is also looking at the natural way of living and uh, we also uh, you know explored that aspect of uh, science the um, the medicine way of looking or the uh, physics part of it as well, which is more from the observational point of view rather than the, um, the you know, just the part analysis. And then we also went ahead with um, exploring about technology. Uh, so these were some of the things that we kind of touched upon. Sure. So, um, Binal, this program was... Uh supposed to be about um, facilitating inquiry 
uh, as we think of it, like for others in that sense. So what do you think facilitation is about? Can it be done? And what are the challenges? So initially, I had a uh, view that, you know, facilitation is where, uh, you know, you formally kind of uh, take on that role in the form of workshops, a more structured way. Um, slowly, as I'm understanding it, uh, I'm realizing that it's, you know, any interaction with anyone, any surrounding that you have is facilitation for that matter because the triggers are there and how you are processing it, how you're looking at it uh, is uh, in a way facilitation. Uh, in a more formal sense, if at all, you know, there is a conversation that happens with someone, um, then it's, uh, again, you know, it's like being a co-passenger with that person um, and trying to kind of uh, so firstly, it also means that are you inquiring yourself uh, in life before even facilitating or so it's uh, doing what you would do if you were in that, uh, you know, position. So it's uh, always also about keeping open uh, doors, you know, there is no fixed way of this is facilitation because again, that would be binding, but uh, yeah, this I think it's the every interaction and how you're processing it is also facilitation. Sure. What would you like to share about uh, Kalyan, the course facilitator, and also if uh, you wish about the other participants of the course? Uh, yeah. So I mean, when I first attended Kalyan's workshop, uh, I would call him Kalyan. Uh, as I started attending more programs, I started referring him as Sir. And there was this awe, um, you know, as I was looking at, there was some way wherein I was looking up to him as someone who was instrumental for my inquiry. Um, maybe that's when the Sir sits in. Um, then I started even questioning that and slowly it's dissolving um, to preferring him as Kalyan again, because I see that, you know, inquiry is more of a, uh, each one of us actually, you know, we are just as, you know, we breathe and we eat and we, it's, it's as natural as that. So um, uh, this independency that, uh, you know, this was shown by Kalyan in that sense um, that, you know, it's not, um, you know, being dependent on someone for answers. And in that sense, um, that revelation happened for, for um, I think most of us. So that was one thing that I thought of. And, you know, I found a friend in Kalyan because anything and everything, you know, I could uh, easily open up, talk to him about. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I uh, there's so much to say, but yeah, I would put it to this. Yeah. It's it's a relationship which would go on, I think. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, who do you think can join this kind of uh, course? You know, this uh, inquiry based facilitation. Uh, uh, for whom do you think it makes sense to join it? I think uh, someone who is uh, curious for sure to know more about, you know, um, to even question that how one is living, is that the only uh, way of living or is there any other way of uh, living and looking at life? Uh, because generally, you know, uh, we end up thinking love as something or, uh, you know, the definitions of dedication as something or all these aspects, you know, we look at it in a certain lens and then this program kind of uh, makes one question all those things. So anyone who is open to be questioned uh, of one's own belief uh, system also would be eligible for this kind of a program. 
Thank you, Beenal. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. Uh, thank you.